Hey guys, welcome and thank you for joining. I want to share a message with you tonight. You are anointed for who God has called you to be. You can't be like everybody else. Everybody is unique and generally made by God. And God will use you in a way where you can reach people that I can't reach. So I want to encourage you today as I share this message. Jesus has given you the authority and an anointing. You carry that authority to cast out devils, lay hands on the sick that they may recover, prophesy the word of the Lord. You might be used differently than everybody else, but that's okay. God loves to use you for who you are. Because if everybody was just the same, we might not see miracles the way we see it now. We see miracles being birthed. We see people being healed in such miraculous ways. We see healings taking place, people being delivered by oppression. God wants to use you because he knows you are unique in your way. You see, I had this revelation one day as I went to go get a cup of coffee from Jack in the Box. And after I got that coffee, I drank it all. It was great. But then I stopped by and I got the little pods and I made myself some more coffee, but it was one of those Starbucks pods. And I then began to, after it was done, I put it in my coffee cup. And even though it looked the same, it didn't taste the same. And so even though I tasted it, I was expecting the same taste that the Jack in the Box cup coffee had, but it was completely different. I then began to look at the cup and say, it looks the same, the color looks the same, but the taste is completely different. And the revelation that God began to show me was that's how we all are in the body of Christ. We are all unique, but we're different. God will use us in a place where you will see miracles, signs and wonders that I may not see, but that's okay. Because you are unique and you are made in the image and likeness of our God. At the end of the day, when we see these miracles that are birthed, even though God might use you differently the way he uses me, we're all on the same team. We're all in this together. At the end of the day, our Father who is in heaven, he is glorified and he receives all the honor and the glory. You see, I like to look at 1 Samuel Chapter 17, verse 38 through 40. It says, Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around because he was not used to it. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I am not used to them. So he took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand, he chose five smooth stones from the stream, put them in the pouch of his shepherd bag, and with his sling in his hand, he approached the Philistine. I want to jump down to verse 48 of chapter 17 for Samuel. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. You see, God can use you for who you are. David was a young shepherd boy. Saul was much older than him. Saul had been in battles. He began to fight off different Philistines, but he used armor. David was unique and chosen by God. God didn't use David the way he used Saul. And that's okay because he was unique and God used him in a way that it would still glorify the Lord. You see, in this story, you see that Saul used the same tactic that he would use. And he gave David his sword. He gave David his armor, even his helmet, because that's what he was used to. But as you read more in the scriptures, David, he began to walk around and he said, this doesn't fit. It's not even my size. 
So he began to take off each armor piece and he said, all I need is three stones. So he put that in his pouch and he ran to that line and began to face the Philistine. And even though the Philistine might have mocked him, even said, you are nothing but a shepherd boy. You're nothing but a little boy. What can you do to me? And as you read in the scripture, it's amazing because David, he says, you come with me with a sword and arrow. But he said, I come with you in the name of the Lord. And he slung that, that, that rock, that stone. And the Bible says that it hit the Philistine in the forehead and it sunk and the Philistine fell. You never know how God will use you. You see, Saul and his army were scared because they saw that David was small. But they saw the boldness that he carried. They saw the unique in him. Even though he went out there and it seemed like, man, this guy's going out naked without any armor. He's going out there without any sword. This man is crazy. But can I tell you something? When you go with God on your side, my goodness, God will fight your battle. God will give you the strength to fight that Philistine. You might be going through something right now. You might be facing a giant right now. It might be fear. It might be doubt. It might be anxiety or even insecurities. Let me tell you something. God will give you the strength to slay that giant. God will give you the strength to say, this thing shall no longer have dominion and power over my life. For the Lord will strengthen me and he is with me. You see, you are unique and peculiar. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he had called you out of that darkness into his wonderful light. Be who God has called you to be. Don't try to be somebody else. Be yourself. God can't anoint and use the fake you. He can only anoint that which is genuine and authentic. So be who God has called you to be today. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining. I pray that this message blessed you. If you would like to donate or give a one-time gift of any amount, or you would like to become a monthly supporter, you can go to SergioSanctionsMinistries.com, click the donate button, and you can either give a one-time gift or become a monthly supporter. And like I always say, God can make the impossible possible on your behalf today. God bless.